comments I made today. I, I went in a little bit yesterday and took out some of the, the, the looked like Medusa snakes in her hair, trying to make it a little more interesting. Uh, I may try to soften some of this up so it's not so snaky. And uh, I'm going to have to work with my earplugs because I need I can't work with listen to any podcasts or any uh, music because I really have to focus to get this uh, done. You'll probably see a little better there. So rather than show you me working on it, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and work on it and you see the changes. Okay. I need to make a lot of decisions, so that's going to require me being very active, proactive, and standing back, looking at it, turning it, looking at it, moving it, and looking at it. So a lot of evaluation. So it will be a very proactive session. Sometimes as I'm carving, I'll see just a slight little, oh, if I did that, that would work, moment. So I, see, I saw a slight shadow there, and that this could come in front, and this could be pushed in back. Just kind of just a subtle shape, but a meaningful shape. Now, I just noticed something. I got this movement coming all the way down. So rather than risking it, I'll draw it out and go, yeah. And I'm putting a belly in there. You could also call it a waist if it becomes narrow in the center, but it becomes a little larger right there. So. Turn it and see. Go. Yeah, yeah, that can work. And with this, I'll use a claw chisel, rondelle. Now I got a sense of repetition with variation. So you got this movement in here, maybe just a little, not too much but just a little bit more of this. That's just what kind of struck me right now. and variation. This is a real hollow. I can make this just a slight hollow. It doesn't, but that's repetition and variation. It always makes it a little more interesting. Oh yeah, see that's a much better movement. This, this movement up in here is much, much nicer. Now it's starting to turn. There's a point where everything is thick, 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 and you get it to a, a nice neutral point where you finally feel like you've uh, conquered the thickness of the thing and getting down to some nice nuanced movements. It's like an overweight sculpture. The reason why I didn't put this all make this very strong or decisive in the clay was I wanted to play with it in the stone. So I just, I hurried up and finished it. Now this movement, I kind of like what's going on in here. Kind of like going up in here, which means this is brought in. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit. Again, using a rondel claw. So I'll probably push this way back, 
that brings this way forward and gives it a little more variation. I needed a uh, faster way to get these nice transitions in the hair and I decided to try a couple tricks with some of my um, metal working tools and I have these uh, fillet grinders that I use on my stainless steel and I found they work beautifully on the metal. This is your uh, Dynabraid Dynisher. Uh, <coughs> Notice how thin the belt is. Metabo fillet uh, grinder and buffer. And it smooths the uh, basically smooths uh, fillets, weld fillets beautifully. And this is the soft wheel. Um, I have it set on a very, very low setting and it does just fine. Sanders. It's an orbital sander made by Dynabraid. You can set it on orbital and in here I can set the air pressure to low or high or medium. And if I go like that, switch this over here, then it becomes a regular sander. So you take off a lot of material that way. interface pad and I go ahead and I put it on my uh, orbital set the pressure low so it doesn't spin off oops right now I'm using 60 grit hook and loop and I set it over back to orbital and you take off get all these low spots and you can quick work all 